Well, hello. I decided to kick off this day of uh, Emma's Vlogmas, so you get a bearded guy instead of a pretty girl to say hello. Um, <laughs> we ended up staying up until like probably like 1.30 in the morning yesterday. Emma spoke to a good friend of hers, and I played Minecraft <laughs> while she was doing that. So, voila. I'm co commandeering this morning just so Emma can have some content, you know, because I love her. Hmm? You know? You know I love you? I don't have any pants on. But that's fine, they can still hear you. Okay. <laughs> I love you too. Awesome. The best tired food for Emma after a day like that is bagels. So, I just braved the cold in the rain and got some bagels from my wife. How's you feeling? Surviving? Wow, my hair is really cute. Anyway. Well, I'm fine. Voila, voila. I'm not like I'm over anything. I'm just really tired. <laughs> <laughs> we usually go to bed at like 10 or 11. We're like One grandpas. is way too late. Never again. Like, we're old. Kristen, I love you, but never again. <laughs> All right. Ugh. Talk to you soon. Since I'm going to do some dishes. Yes, Vincent's doing dishes because he's such a nice guy. Guys, it is, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to show you. Anyway, it was 11-11, so make a wish. <laughs> that was a complete, that was a complete failure. It's fine, it's just fine, like, it's fine. Just it on the, on, on the screen, like when you're <laughs> overblown, just like 11-11. <laughs> Gross, okay. Anyway, what is wrong with my... Sorry, my exposure was like all off. Um, I'm out of the shower. I gotta blow dry my hair. I feel a little more human after some coffee and some bagel. Vincent is my favorite person in this whole entire world. Oh! I well, love you. Guess what? So are you! Guys, ever since we he... I know, he, we are pretty gross. Ever since he shaved or cut his mustache off of his top lip, we've been kissing so much. I Highly so. recommend anybody who has it's a bearded like, husband. It's like we're dating again. I didn't realize how much I needed that, and I missed it. Guys, guys, don't marry French people because of the mustache. It's not worth it. It was never about the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, we're so gross. Um, I need to blow dry my hair before it gets weird, and then I need to edit, finish editing, and upload Vlogmas Day 4 right away. And oh my god. I know, and then, okay, if you hate feet, look away now. Five, four, three, two, one. And then I need to take care of these. I have not repainted my nails in months. Aw, your feet are cute with their little tie-dye socks. My feet are not cute, so that needs to be fixed. So I think I'm gonna do all of those things in that order. All right, I feel like a real human. I think this is the first time I've actually gotten ready for the day all week, honestly. I kind of just took a break from makeup because every time we've gone out, I've been wearing a mask all day. So um, we're kind of planning on staying in today. It's a good day to like feel cute, I guess, which is so counterintuitive, but like welcome to COVID world, right? But yeah, so I just blow dried my hair. I just put on a little concealer and blush and highlighter and eyebrows and mascara and that was it. But I feel cute. Alrighty, so Vincent is about to start a lesson. I have to... Oh, wait. Are you on the phone? No. Oh. <laughs> he did like this sort of stuff, but I thought he was saying he was on the phone. <laughs> Vincent is about to start a lesson. I need to edit my video. I also need to finish my bagel and my coffee. Hello. I know. So, I'll be doing that for the next couple hours. And then, um, I want to show you all the stuff I've been getting from Zara lately. So, I'll come back and we'll do that today. It'll be, it'll be a good time. I have no clue what we're doing tonight. I need to finish editing my video and I was thinking we would play some more Minecraft anyway, so. It's like rainy all day today, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, we're probably not gonna leave the house. Okay, cool, so I'll catch you back in a couple hours. All right, the classes are over. It's about 3.30. It literally looks like it's a lot later than 3.30, but that's okay. Um, I just want to show you real quick all the stuff that I've been getting from Zara lately because because I have gotten lots of compliments on These things while I've been out and about and all of them are still available on Zara's website So I thought it would be like the perfect time to show you them in case you were interested Then you'd be able to like go snag them because there have been really good deals Obviously some of this stuff was on sale for Black Friday. It's some of it's not anymore but it's still worth looking at. So anyway, just thought I'd show you, give you some New York City kind of very like edgy urban style inspo. If that's something that you like, if you appreciate anything that I wear, this is your moment. Okay, so let me set up the camera and then I'll like, I'll just try stuff on too so you can see how it looks on little short me so that if you are short, 
you can know exactly how it's going to fit on you. Okay, so this is up first. I still have my slippers on, sorry. This is classified as a dress on Zara's website, and it does have elastic that is, like, in the back of it that's not going anywhere. But I think that you could wear it open or shut, depending on your mood. The sleeves are, like, nice and billowy, which is kind of cool. And I do think that it also looks really good tied up. I wore it recently going out into the city, so this is, like, not... This is the least new of my new things, for sure. Pretend it's all buttoned up, but I just think that it's really cool and it looks very like a little more sexy than other things that I have that are um, dresses or you know about this length and it definitely is longer on me than it looks on the model that was in the Zara website of course but I really like it I think that it is just really cool okay here's the next thing this jacket is the one that I had to change the buttons out of because they one of them fell off like the second time I wore it which is so annoying but I actually like the buttons I changed it out to a little bit better anyway but I just think this is really cool I love the little leather details it definitely does not go with everything because of the extra little bits but I really love the fit of it I think that it's one of those jackets that just elevates jeans you know what I mean um it kind of is like a really fun statement piece all on its own and I will also say it's very warm even on like a 50 degree day I wore a sweater under this once and it was like way too warm. I should not have worn this with a sweater on a 50 degree day. Okay, here's first up of like the truly new things. I got these trousers on sale. They are a good length for me actually on their own, but I probably will roll them up one more because that's just how I roll. Okay, there they are like rolled up to the length that I'll probably actually wear them at. I actually just put them on over my leggings, so they probably look like a tiny bit bulkier than they would otherwise, but I just love trousers with more casual wear and sneakers and stuff i think that they're so cool these are really comfy they're not too high rise but they're not you know they're like mid rise um and yeah i think they're really nice they have like a nice kind of like a texture to them also that you know i don't know it feels good it's kind of cool okay these jeans or these trousers i am excited about <laughs> okay and then here's the jeans that i was wearing the other day one more time they are just like a mom fit jean but guys zara jeans are really really nice they have really nice little details like some extra wear i think that they um are just really like high quality and the jeans last forever i have literally had a couple other pairs of zara jeans that have that i've had for like three or four years and they still look great so these are really fun i like the fit of them a lot even though they're like i don't know they're probably not as flattering on me but i just think it's like a fun look then the other thing we have is this cute little top it really feels a lot like cashmere it's not and it was only ten dollars and they have this in like a lot of different colors i don't know how many colors they have left now but i just got black but i just think it's really cute i really like the length of it i like the buttons all the way down i think that it's really really cute and cozy and just like a little bit more fun than your typical long sleeve shirt because it's just you know got a little bit of visual interest there okay this is probably the thing i'm most excited about of everything that i've gotten this leather jacket i am obsessed with i think it is the perfect length for a short person like me i really love the slightly oversized collar i like the tie that i can leave open the sleeves are like a good length they're not too long it's kind of on the you know oversized cozy side but not too much it's just like the perfect thing i think that this jacket is so nice Okay, and this very last thing, which I just think is so fun and interesting. I feel like I don't really love it with the jeans on, to be honest. I would probably wear it with, like, tights and boots on its own. And, by the way, this is an extra small. It's, like, very oversized. But this is called a water-resistant overshirt. It's, like, kind of puffy but really lightweight, which is cool. I really like the beige color. I love that it just looks like a cool button-down jacket. I thought this was so interesting and fun and you can kind of again wear it like in all seasons because of like the color and the fit. Um, so this is like my other, this is my very last thing that I'm excited about for winter on days when it's not quite so cold. It's just something that's a little different from like your typical puffer jacket. And I should also mention that they had this in lots of different colors too, like black and blue. And I remember seeing it in the store and just loving the look of it. And so I'm really excited that it was on sale for Black Friday and I was able to buy it. And now it's mine. All right, there you go. That's everything I've purchased recently. Um, I've definitely been on a kick of like a little bit more urban, edgy, leather, neutrals, blacks. 
Um, and I just felt like I wanted to share because like that's kind of how my style is evolving right now. And all of these, like I said, are available on the Zara website. So if you want to go check them out, I get absolutely nothing from telling you that. It's just like me wanting to share because I'm a helpful type person. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for us to go to Aldi. We have to go get that salmon that we forgot to get at Trader Joe's the other day. Um, we're going to walk over there right now. It's about a half hour walk. It's about a mile away. And if we decide to take the bus back, that's fine. But we're going to walk if we can. So it's going to be kind of a long walk. It's 46 degrees. So i got to figure out what to wear. It's going to be cold. <laughs> no, I hate the cold. That is not a that? pigeon. You can't zoom in very much on that lens. But guys, that is like a falcon or something. Yeah, I'm filming you now. It's just your butt. <laughs> it's nature. <laughs> nature in the city. <laughs> I was staring out the window for so long trying to figure out if that was a real animal or not and then it flew so it was real but okay we gotta go <laughs> getting distracted massive bird. it is a massive bird wow. wow okay here's what we're going with some dad sneakers jeans jacket not bad not bad at all that hawk was crazy we're still talking about all it. right okay I probably could have worn one more layer I am cold <laughs> My little hands are kind of chilly. It's okay, the sun is setting, so it will be darker soon. That's what I didn't account for, is no sunlight. I always forget how early it gets dark because that really does affect the temperature, and I'm not prepared. Maybe at some point I'll adjust. Probably by the time I've adjusted, it'll start getting lighter again, so. <laughs> They had an Auntie Anne's and I haven't gotten pretzels in forever. So we got pretzels. <laughs> Which is not a great pre-dinner snack, but that's okay. They're delicious. And we totally scored on meat. The salmon was really cheap, the tilapia was really cheap, so we got both. And Vincent got some chicken to cook up later, so that was a good deal. It was worth the walk for sure. Mm-hmm. We got McDonald's on the way home. I'm not here. So we're gonna, <laughs> it's a little crazy. We are going to eat, and then we both have videos to work on. Mm -hmm. And then we're probably gonna play Minecraft. Yeah. So I'm gonna leave you here. We're gonna, we're gonna end this right here. It's been fun, it's been great. Love you guys, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna have a fun day in the city. Exciting, we live a, a very exciting life. Yes, we do. <laughs> All right, have a good night guys. So what you do is you have these little slices of cheese and you put them in these trays and they heat up and get all bubbly and delicious and then you pour them over this stuff which you can cook on the grill however you want. Are you excited? So ready? <laughs>